Good morning. Sorry. Got a bit distracted. Hadn't realised it had started. Hello, hello, hello. So, um, let me get my other phone. So I've got comments. Right. Hey, look, I'm live. Turn the volume on. So, I had done this collaboration with Jen. Oh my God. Honestly, that was one of the most it wasn't that's a lie but it wasn't the most traumatic day of my life but it was a very stressful day <laughs> when it just disappeared um so yeah so I was somewhat heartbroken um very unhappy about me so um I was like right okay then I need to do this set of nails again Oops. oh my god um <laughs> and um I was like right I'm thinking of doing it um I'll do them as lives and then I was like, why don't I, instead of doing it on my, on my hand, I said, why don't I create a set of custom presses and then I can offer them up to people. So, hello, hello, hello. I am going to, over the next few days, create these wedding nails. I'm going to do a couple of nails every day live. So today we're looking at Le Pinky Finger. Um... So yeah, I'm going to do a couple of hours live every day um, and then um, there's going to be a chance for you to win them. So obviously, I, I don't know anyone's sizes. So I'm going to be doing um, like a couple little nails, a couple ring fingers, stuff like that. So you'll mo more than likely, they'll be able to fit whoever wins them. Um, and it's going to be really easy how to win these. It's so, so simple. You need to go to my website and become a subscriber. It's as simple as that. Sign up with your email. So I'll explain later on how to do that. But I'm just going to get on making those nails. So I'm starting off with... Hazel Dixon Ease Nails. Um, these are long coffin neck clear. They've got a grey c curve as you can see they're suitable for those nail types um what i love about these is that they're straight your lower arch is straight there's so many um, nails you can get like full nails for press-ons and stuff um you must always 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 get the ones with the straight lower arch otherwise you'll end up with hooked press-ons right let's have a little look at those comments morning jen morning person whose name is in japanese Japanese I'm so sorry I don't know hello um Angela good morning Nadia hello Kimberly hello morning or is it afternoon oh it's I don't know it's I had way too much gin last night and my head hurts so much town of day um hi the smart voice hello Jacqueline hello butterfly nails Lorianne Sam um, no I'm Sam Sam sweat Sam, no I'm, I'm out Lorianne hello <laughs> Rachel Penn hello Hello from Japan. Okay, so um, up the top, that is probably Chinese or Mandarin because that looks very different text to below and you said you're from Japan. So I'm sorry. Um, I did not mean to be insulting. Um, Kimberly, they look amazing. I need some. Susie, afternoon, Lucy. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. So I am going to create the pinky finger. So pinky finger, can we get it shining right? Is this one. So we're going to get a little bit of glitter on the outside and then some 3D near the cuticle area. Got a hello from Florida. Hello. And how is life in Florida? Right. So obviously I'm working on a practice tip, doing press-ons. I don't need to start with a thin, clear base. I'm just going to go straight in with my colour. Getting it out of the cuticle area and then pulling down. So, anyone looking into doing press ons, things like that, if you're doing acrylic design, you are going to have to be really good by the end of it because you need to keep it super, super, super thin because you do not want to bulk these out. Hot and soon to be a rainy day. You know what? When I was in Florida, granted for only like three or four months it seemed to just rain every day by like lunchtime but then like an hour later it was dry and hot again <laughs> so 
going to leave and come back. Marianne, I'm sorry. I said something to upset her. Zoom in. I'll try, but often when I zoom in, it goes super blurry. YouTube can't quite cope with the zoom. That all right for everyone? So I'm working in small beads and draining the liquid out of the back because I want a nice deep colour. But as you can see, I'm wanting to work nice and thin. Still better. It looks good. Cool. Okay then. I'm going to go to the tip. So, who's had a little look at the new website? Anyone had a little nosy? Had a little snoop? Not sure where all these little bits are coming from. Are the tips full cover? They sure are. That's what you need for um, press-ons. Which cover pink? This is CJP Obsession. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of Tiger Lily in multi-cut. So just got a little trickling of it down there and then I've used my wet brush to pick up some of the chunky cut and then I'm just going to pat that in. Cool, I'm going to put that to one side and let that set. And on to the next. Oh, oh, comments flying. Can I win these? Yes, Jen, you can. Because it is literally going to be, I'm going to do a draw from everyone who's on the mailing list. So you'll all go in. And then it will be drawn that way. So you're on my mailing list. You will be in there. Just turned out what tips are using. These are HD Pro Easy Tips. I'm late. Good, good morning. Good morning, Alyssa. You're not sure about press-ons. Well, it's the best we can do at the moment. <laughs> when we're not able to um, have our customers in, it is the best we can do, isn't it? How do we get on your mailing list? You literally go to the website, misslucy's.co.uk, and then you scroll down and put your email address in. It is as simple as that. And then you're on my mailing list.
and doing the exact same thing but doing it on the other side because obviously this would be on the other hand some mark we got ta -da. and I'll go back and cap the other one you never know until you try something pressings are a good emergency backup if you have very little time exactly Susie um, they're also good for people that if you work um, and you can't wear nails for your work or anything like that or you don't even want to wear nails all the time but you might have a special occasion and you want some pretty nails for or like now you know you can't get to your nail tech stuff like that so it's nice to have um, some press-ons you know the majority of us we're at home okay we're cleaning and things like that but we're not using our hands too much a lot of us aren't working so as well you can put press-ons on and if you use glue they're probably going to last quite a long time because you're not doing all that much not putting too much stress or strain on them i've got a video i'm sharing tonight actually which is a set of press-ons I did. One of gems, I'll be sharing that later, I think. Just got a voiceover and upload it. Um, nothing beats the real full service, but press-ons are there for parties if you're not allowed. Yep, what Jen said, it seems like a trend, but I still feel sculpting is my first choice. Yeah, I 100% agree with you, but unfortunately, if you can't go, if you, you know, we're not allowed to leave the house at the moment, so it's not really an option to get your nails sculpted. Um, so this is, you know, the next best thing for a lot of people. And there are a lot of people that are still working, that are still earning, um, but, you know, their nail techs can't do their nails. So this is just a way for us nail techs to try and earn a little bit of money so that we can continue to keep working keep doing what we love and then hopefully when all this is over we'll still be able to um have a business and get back to it afterwards yeah i love new videos yes i'm trying to get a video out every day at the moment jenny So you want to make sure you're working as, as thin as possible with these. As you can see, you don't want to be bulking them out. You don't want to be getting any thicker than you would on your clients. So these ones I'm going to do ever so slightly differently. Just with the glitter placement more than anything. This one I'm starting at the tip rather than the cuticle area. Very quiet in your house, Lucy. Where are the babies at? Um, well, Evie's asleep in the bedroom. Max is asleep in the lounge. Ian's outside. I think he's about to mow the lawn or he's going to do something with the horse box. It is very quiet. It needs to be because my head hurts. Um, and later on, I shall listen back to the messages I sent you last night, Jen. Oh, my God. I was rather tickly. 
And in all fairness, I'm not surprised because it, that gin is 43%. <laughs> Come in the right direction for the boxes you're using to package these. Now, Grace, Grace, I messaged, because I've been doing um, press-ons for a while, and you can use basically jewellery boxes. Um, so either the square ones or the long ones is what I've been using. And then I saw a few nail techs sharing these gorgeous like lacy ones done up with ribbons and I was like these are stunning so I messaged the nail techs um that I know like we're friends we've chatted before and I messaged a few nail techs and I was just like um where did you get these box uh, you know if you don't mind can you tell me where your supplier is for this I wasn't asking about nails anything like that I was literally just saying oh I really like this packaging could you tell me where you get it from well hmm. Hmm. one of them one replied thank you the wonderful Kaz Dixon and she's like here's the uh here's the secret they're wedding invites so just google wedding invite lace wedding invite and you can get some really nice presentation boxes like that or just use like a long like, jewelry box which is what I tend to do and then some strong sticky back tape to keep them in place in the box not on your nails <laughs> One of my clients made her own damson gin. She bought me a small bottle of it before we shut. I might try it. Oh, you can't even mention alcohol around me right now. That is how bad it is. Oh my God. I had like three large gins, which normally wouldn't affect me that bad. But yeah, they were large, large. And uh, yeah, just a tang. My head this morning. Got up, did my horse. Done a little bit with Lippy Lady. I'm now doing this. I've got a couple of press on sets I need to do, and I'm hoping at some point I can just go die this afternoon. <laughs> Lie in bed, feeling it. Would you look? I've put you on silent. Shh. Silly thing. Fancy me go making my own. Give it a go, Susie. Boozy bath, basically. Oh. I was just a bit, a bit drunk, and then I was voice noting Jen, and I was like, "Am I, am I slurring? Am I slurring?" And Ian looked at me, and he was like, "I can barely understand what you're saying, Lucy." So like, oh, I'll go to bed then. <laughs> I flopping love tiger lily glitter. Hangover munchies. There's none in the house, Jenny. None in the house. We're on such, as I'm sure many people are, on such a damn budget at the moment. We've got no money. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, like, meal plan, food plan is quite a strict plan in the house. And what's really annoying me is all the shops, for God's sake, people buying, like, all the flour and stuff like this. And I'm like, are you, like, really? I'm finding it impossible to find like the most basic food is actually getting quite depressing now. Um, gripe over. Stop your whining, Lucy. Ta -da. Rations. Yeah, we pretty much are on rations. <laughs> How did the chicken bandit style turn out? I think you mean Nando's style. <laughs> My bandito chicken. Um, it was lovely. It was um, lemon and herb. So absolutely no heat. And it was lovely. And My tummy didn't hate me. Um, definitely so easy to give it a go. It was very amusing. Yeah, well, I'm here to entertain, Jen. Rations. Yeah, pretty much. I've never had it before, so can't wait, Nadia. Dams and Jim. Mm -hmm. Nice Dams and Jim. I'm definitely going to try when I eventually move house. Can you not try in your in your current house? Have I missed, have I missed something here? Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Because we're doing 3D, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Come on, Lucy, get with the programme. Oh, so now I'm going to file the pin. She says they better be set. Yeah, it's not set. Yeah. <laughs> not quite set yet. Okay, give it a minute to get that set. Let me get my other bits out. Ready for the next bit. Lordy my lady. Oh, 
I thought he had a snap. And then. And then. I don't understand how that's gone wandering off. Um, right, let me just find my crystal wheel. Which isn't where it lives. invite box things have very clever love and thank you for your help oh i just oh, i don't care about jeremy <laughs> something like that um yeah but yes just wedding box invites are super fancy but if you just want to go simple then just use jewelry boxes uh i've never had it before so can't wait Oh, large chin, measured by the eye, except that gets bigger and bigger. Oh, Sammy, oh my god, you've got no idea. I'm, um, yeah, I'm suffering. I could, but I'm all packed up and never to go, and my boys at home have no chance. Oh, okay, then yes, have a go and get it back to normality. I love it, but have one for me. <laughs> Don't have one for me, even like through the ether, it might kill me. Oh, these are taking a while to set because it's actually quite cold at my salon. <sighs> oh. He's got his work stuff on. He's getting out into the horse box. Actually, this is how exciting it is. Da, da, da. There he is. Ian! He's not listening. Oi! Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he's gonna go check the piece of crap horse box that is the biggest waste of money I've ever spent. And I'm an owl tech, he buys a lot of glitter. Everything's falling apart, everything's broken. <sighs> check him out. He's a beast, isn't he? I'll leave him alone now. <laughs> Yep, so that's Ian being kept busy. -la -la. There's a list, so long, of things he needs to fix. Hello, Maximus. He's like, you were knocking on the window, I got scared. Lisa, do you sell 3D acrylic brushes? I have one, but it's absolutely pants. Kimberly, yes, I do, but obviously the Glitter Fairy is closed down at the moment. It's coming back. Um, um, but yes, but obviously if now tech's not working, the Glitter Fairy um, just temporarily closed down because nail techs can't work, they can't shop um, and it was financially no longer viable for me to keep it It's coming back there. Nice colour though, very new. You know what, I was like, when they said what colour do you want it and I'm like, mm, I'm not sure, like Bajak's colours are kind of neon green. Um, but do you know why I do it? Because when you go to a show or a competition or something, everyone knows where my horse box is. So it's really easy to A, find your horse box and then also on the road, the chance of anyone then driving into my horse box, I, I'd like to think it's also quite low because it is neon feckin' green. You can't miss me on the road. Um, good to know. Thank you. You're what? No worries, Kimberly. Oh my God, set. Right, that one's set. So, let me. Can I show you another trick? But lots of people don't. <laughs> So, get my e file. So that's all nice and shiny, isn't it? That isn't going to stick. So, very, very gently, you want to get in there and buff. I only do like the top half. 
it there. Can you see? That's now matte. That will now stick a lot better to your client than if you'd sent it shiny shiny. Also tidy up if you've managed to acrylic some blue tack underneath. But always be very, very gentle because you don't want to be firing into your acrylic or going through that tip. You just want to be buffing. Mm -hmm. Right, catch up on comments. Where is my tape now? What is going on? And scissors, what are they doing? Jesus. <laughs> I'm a roll today. Um, so this is another thing that you might want to invest in. It's just self-adhesive self tape. So vet wrap. Because can you see I've got like a little saw bit there? That is um, from filing in lots of press-ons. And I don't want to file off any more of my skin, but damn it. Good to know. This brush is amazing. I do need three G1. I've got size 10 and the detail brush. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Me too. I have all the brushes set for 3D. Plus, I also have those very same brushes that Jenny. They are the best. You guys, you're too kind. Right. Finally. Jenny, have you received your lippy lady email today? I assume you're on the mailing list. If you're not, I'm just going to go and cry in a corner by myself. So I do just tilt my, just to tidy that up around there. But again, you want to be really, really careful of all tidying up because you don't want to adjust the, the size of your nail too much because you still want it to be, you know, a matching pair with the other one. Pound shop sell tape. I'm sure they do. I got mine as a bulk buy from Amazon. Don't waste your money on tech tape because you'll find a roll like that labelled as tech tape and it's like a fiver. Oh my crap. Whereas these, if you buy in bulk or stuff like that, they are like, I think the bulk ones where they're like less than 50p a roll. Oh, I have to check them. I'm not sure. Definitely on the mailing list. Well, I need to get on the mailing list. Four new scent collections came out today and a subscription goodie bag. There you go, so just checking, got the right shape and structure, nice skinny tip. And then just do the same. We'll co sell it too. Yeah, loads of places. It's not, it's not hard to find. So I was on the phone to my mum today chatting away and my mum doesn't get her nails done. My mum's a fighter. She's had her nails done all of twice by me. Um, just gel polish when I first started out. Um, and she even had, she peeled it off, I remember that, because we were sat chatting with friends, and then someone said, oh, you know, about me doing nails, and mum was like, oh, they're lovely, but they just ruin your nails, and I was like, I'm sorry, what now? And she was like, well, that time, and I was like, so what exactly happened? She was like, well, I peeled them off, and I, I ruined my nails, didn't I, Lucy? And I was like, yes, mother, you did. Uh, 
because she'd come through and I lived in the house next to her and she was like well, I'm ready for them to come off now and I was like okay give me half an hour and, and I'll be able to do that because I was in the middle of something and I went back to you like half an hour later and she's like well I've done it now I've peeled them off and I was like you've ruined your nails no I haven't they feel fine and I was like okay fine whatever next day she comes in <gasps> Lucy my nails feel awful and I was like well yeah no shit you intelligent woman who's just not listened to a word I've said <laughs> So, and after that, she's like, oh, I don't want my nails done again. Fine, fine, that's fine. So I sent her some pictures of some preferences I've done today. And she was straight away, she's like, oh, oh, well, I'll have some of them. You know, and she's like, what? <laughs> I feel like just putting them in a beautiful artistic frame so she can just put them straight on the wall. Because I can't see her ever wearing them. <laughs> oh, Jenny, that thing. Well, enjoy. I had it as a request from um, one of my other customers. They're like, are you going to be doing like little melt subscription boxes? I was like, well, might as well. Might as well. So what are we all up to today? Oh, they're quiet. It's weird when it's so quiet, isn't it? I am sorry. There you go, I'm just doing my own theme music there. to see if the other dog will let me groom her today she's a fidget oh best you have floofy dogs that need the grooming i'm quite lucky my dogs are very self-cleaning get up eat drink sleep repeat oh, i know right isn't it rachel looking forward to a little nap <laughs> finish these off have a nap and then i'm hoping i'll wake up from the nap feeling a little more human <laughs> and do some more work FaceTiming with the yard owner this afternoon. So again, she's in my horse. I miss him. Oh no, dear. It's yours, one of the yards that's, that you're not allowed on. Oh, how awful for you. There are so many people that I know that they're like, the yard's shut down. I can't visit my horse. I'm extremely lucky that I keep my boy so close. And that, you know. I don't have school or anything, but I'm the sole caregiver, so I have to see him every day. Yep, and no one is allowed apart from myself. Oh, bless your heart. But you know what? They're doing what they must to keep you all safe. And that's the important thing, isn't it? So when all this is over... How's your boy taking the time off? Being well behaved? I tried to give Bajo a time off. Oh, God. Get a cob, they're easy. Yeah, they lied. <laughs> He's been going a bit, he's been getting a bit fresh. And I got, got there this morning and he was once again on the wrong side of the fence. And he's like, I'm going to start riding you again. I'm going to start giving you a bit of exercise. <laughs> because you are just taking it too far, buddy. 
Okay, so let's wear a line. Oh, ping, ping, ping. So, who wants to be able to chance of winning these then? You can get these if you sign up to the Miss Lucy's website. You literally go to misslucy's.co.uk. Scroll down. I mean, have a little look, have a little snoop. Let me know what you think of the new website. And then you join up to the mailing list. Now, if you were previously on my mailing list, my old website ate all of my contacts. So I'm having to start from scratch again. I do not have the best luck with websites. No, I do not. That is a fact, unfortunately. Um, so yes, it's a whole brand new website. So you need to re-sign up. And I'm not a spammy person. Um, I only ever, I never send more than one email um, a week, if that. Most of the time it'll go months without hearing from me. And it is literally just, um, oh, there's a new product or, oh, there is this competition running. I'm not constantly spamming and sending stuff. There's so many places where you get emails like every goddamn day and that genuinely drives me nuts. Like I think Hazel, like if anyone's on Hazel's website or mailing list, should I say, she's got it right because you get um, an email like once a week. And it is, it always is, oh, there's a new product coming up. Oh, there's a new course. And it is like, okay, that's why I want to be on this mailing list to hear our new stuff. So, yeah. Head on over to misslizards.co.uk and you'll be able to sign up. And then next week, I'm going to do a draw live on TV. TV? <laughs> on air. Oh, the words. On YouTube. Random number generator, everyone on the mailing list. And then one person will win. And yes, don't forget to go check out Jen's nails because, Jen, oh my God, Jen also did a version, a bridal, because this is, at the end of the day, a collaboration. So Jen also did a version of these nails. They're very pretty. So I've got to check them out. Right, where did I put? Here it is. Here it is, here it is. Already done, and I love the new website. Thank you, Elisa. Already done, and I love it. No, just with that. Break the pain, yes, please. Hello from QLD Oz Leah. I have, I don't know where that is. Um, I have an old boy in the youngster who was back a few months ago. The youngster is a bit of a handful. I can't wait to see him again. Oh, bless you, Nadia. And is it a kind of, it's okay because you wanted him to have a few months off to think about things? Or a kind of, I'd rather be there to just keep him under control a bit more? <laughs> Dan, didn't know you had a Miss Lucy's website. What have I missed? Oh, quite, not that much. But it's been, I've had a website for about five years. <laughs> okay, dokey. So, so that's two. Queensland, Australia. You know what? If I'd have thought about it for like a second, I'd have figured that out, I'm sure. I'm a special bird. I'm a special, special child. Right. So, let's do some little pretties on this then, shall we? So, we're going to start with these. Those little shrimp. It's like a kind of big little finger now. It's all being filed up. Now I do want quite small beads. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but that, everyone would always go to the Glitter Fairy thinking that was my website, whereas Miss Lucy's and the Glitter Fairy are two different businesses. So that's why. Oh, and it's cold in here, so this is going to take ages. One side, so you can see the kind of angle I work at. So, obviously, if you're working on clients, you can't move the hands around like this. But whenever I work on practice tips, yes, it, it's a good idea 
at times to be like, right, just pretend it is a human hand. So work on it at the angles you would on a human. But sometimes for the ease of getting the job done, I will just move the tip round. All right there, my love? Yeah. Is that window all done now? No. Oh dear. That sounds like there's more crap being found. And that's what happens with the horse box. We fix one bit. And then we find more stuff hidden behind. But we're all saying with fixing. Lift if I subscribed, it's easier to navigate around. It's much better, isn't it? I'm glad you like it, Jenny. And Jen, I love a 3D brush. I really do. I'm very popular with 3D brush, but sometimes you need bigger beads and yours allows a tiny pick up. Aw, oh, thank you. I do try to only sell things that, you know, are products that I am proud of and would use myself. So. It's not always the quickest process, but if I'm not happy or if it's not something I would use and recommend, I will keep perfecting it until it is. So I'm going to do the same thing, but with just two beads. So I just want two petals. So I'm slowly reducing it as I go down the nail. So when you're working with multiple beads, it's okay to do them like if there's a gap between, but because I'm putting two next to each other, I'll do one at a time. Otherwise they'll just yeah. and become one. So who watching has um, gone to check out Jen's version of this collab? She had a little snoop. So because the final one is just a one bead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that bead on, because that can go there. I watched it live the other day. Cool. There you go, so there's the first nail complete. Now on to the next.
Let's see, so I'm again doing the two because they're away from each other. Love that comment about the stamping. <laughs> so when I've finished this week of lives, I'll create a little playlist so you can sit and watch Jen's video and my videos. So you can actually watch them kind of in order. Tommy, that's a hell of a grumble. Oh, Nadia, do hers are very special. Mm, didn't want to put that one on just yet. Dear silly me. Almost there, guys. And then I'll be back again tomorrow for the next set, the next nail, which will be the French. Might have a few years I prepared earlier on the French, just to speed up the lives a bit. delicate they are aren't they Jen? Teeny teeny tiny. Right so I'm just about finished up now guys. Thank you for tuning in. Remember if you want to be in, a, in with a chance of winning these and keeping up to date with other competitions I'll be running do head over to misslucys.co.uk. Those are the first few nails done. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you all again soon. I hope to see you all again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.